Chicopee, Massachusetts this evening, and we're going to look at the Lambert Lavoie School. We're going to walk around and look at its playground and its facilities and what its neighborhood holds for itself. It was actually a gorgeous eighth grade picture of this school from 1961, and that's found on the internet site for the Chicopee Public Library. So it'll actually probably link that to the page here. So anything particular you want to know? So what grades do the, does the school serve? It serves kindergarten up to fifth grade nowadays. Um, since the Bellamy Middle School came around, that served sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And so this used to be kindergarten to eighth grade, and then you go out in the high school, but it's changed drastically. Um, it now has a middle school in Chicopee. And what we want to do is walk around and see what's around it. It might be some surprises including that Chickabee Cup High School is right behind it. All right, there's an extra field over here. They probably saved this for uh, room to expand. Most cities would do that. There's a playground set over here. It is very active most of the time. During the summer and even some of the warmer months of the school year. After school, you'll see a lot of activity. This is the place set for the Lambert Lavoie. So during their recesses, they cross the street and come into here. So we will uh, walk right through it. And just this past summer, they added all this uh, wood chip to keep it safe. And there's lots of play areas around. This is a one of two play areas. This is for the bigger children. The, lar uh, the smaller children will have another play area and we'll get to see that too. So we're coming out to the cafeteria and gymnasium area. This is the gymnasium. <coughs> and you can see it says that to you. And it's also a cafeteria in this section. And the cl classrooms start right away here with the principal offices on ground floor left and all the many classrooms going around. Um, if there's serving six different grades here, they might have, must have 12 classrooms in there, I would assume. Plus room for special education. Now across the street from here is a basketball court that's paved with tar. And then again, an extra field for expansion or just to have a nice green space for the youngsters. And then as I walk up this street, you can see where the young, very young children have a chance to have their recess. It's very small, so the kindergarten, first and second grade students probably come out to this one. And they have a cool looking mouse, I guess this is a mouse. Okay, what we will do is we'll walk around back of the school. There's a garden area right here with raised beds for the students. And yes, I see some plants in there. And there's more green space back here. And they we're coming towards the back finally. And you can see the athletic fields for Chukabi Comprehensive High School back here, including its baseball field, which is on the size of Major League Diamond, of course. Okay, and here you have the physical uh, plant where the heater would be, so forth, and the cleaning supplies. And there's extra green space back here. I've noticed many track athletes come back here. Right, and there's the Chickabee Comprehensive High School. And it's many parts, a large gymnasium. And then in front of that, a large classroom area. Okay, and finally we're coming up the last of the four sides. And 
we get to see this is a cafeteria up to up the gymnasium and we're going to go out to where the sign is and you can see it's a rather simple house around this area most of these homes were built in the 40s and 50s when Westover Air Force Base was coming around and what I'll do from this position is do a 360 for you And then end by going up closer to the sign. There's a sign plus the name of the school that's on the building itself. Okay, the Lambert Lavoy School dates remember, early dismissal. And then there's the name of the school on the building itself. So I'll thank you from this position. And remember every page is gonna have its own uh, separate page where I'll describe with through text and pictures and videos and podcasts exactly what's going on. Now here's a Memorial Storm Memorial Playground memory of Michael David Pease. June of 1982, July 1989. Live life to the fullest, killed by a speeding driver. Okay, horrible. Okay, so if you have any questions, just send them to me and it's very beautiful around here. Thank you.